it's been uh, about a year since I've performed, so I might be a little rusty. Yeah, here we go. When I was a little kid, I wanted to grow up to be a teacher or an author. Is it too late to change my answer? I'd rather be a tree or a porch tree so I'm no longer too heavy with the weight of problems to be lifted by the breeze. I want to hold someone in the middle of a silent summer night in the smallest throat splinters on her hands so she can realize that sometimes it hurts to hold on, but there are times she can't let go without falling. There are also times when it's okay to fall if that puts her on better ground. Yesterday, I read a license plate that read 1.6191. I want to tell the driver that as much as teachers stress the importance of that decimal place, they should have stressed the importance of her place on earth even more. I want to be a decimal point on every bruise she has ever buried, turn her to a period so she knows it can stop. She is a gift, she is. Not a bad age battered by the bad swing of a man who used to be loved. There are swinging movements less brutal than bicep and forearm to fist. Remember the poor swing. Sit tea. Someday dreams. Does it hurt you now to be cradled that way, to be carried by a touch that is no longer in tune? Can I tell her that if she gets out of tune, she should learn to turn to a wind instrument, so all she needs is her breath. All we need is our breath. Become a whistle to you, or harmonica, or first grader's plastic flute. Our lips don't need to be pressed to someone else's just to make music. Just listen to the symphony of wind kissing high needles. That sound is anything but sharp. And every second, beauty. Our spines are the bridge to beauty from the brain to the soul. He can break backbone with his exploding verbal grenades, but vocal cords never collapse and as thin as skin may be. There are actually eight layers within the three layers, so let me say, baby, you are tough, and no one takes the burden brave out of you. No matter how hard a windshine clashes upon itself in a tornado, it doesn't break, neither does she. She's a cinder block, his black belt, and abuse can't crash. She's a levy between the flood of husband's anger and the fear. Children's eyes. She's alive. A tea kettle allowed to boil harder than his hot breath. She reads lullaby secrets or bottle that's all she needs. And the grips of her hands on the ropes of the porch swing. Me. But I can smell her cigarette smoke on my knuckles almost as if I could suck her picture and nicotine addiction away. But if I could be that, I would have bloodied up with every backhanded beating, every one too many drink he sipped, every word and command out of many machine, no soda, no chips, just a coin in terms so of the only option is change. And even if I'm not one in three women being the worst abused, I've got her back, I'm on her side. If this is you, this poem is for you. Don't give up, don't give in. You are more life than statistic, more bruised than buried, more money to self than reliance. You are a woman, you are women, and I am an ally. We stand upright, we survive, and kiss life because nothing can take that right. So I may not want to be a tree or a porch to me, even a teacher or an author for that matter, but every woman can have my body as her safe house. And this house is a place for anyone already standing or 